So continuing with our example with three digits. Now, as you see, it is closest to 1,000. So our base would be 1,000. And we're going to find the complements. Now, <coughs> using the formula all from 9 and last from 10, what do we get? We get a 0 and a 0 and a 1. And here we get a 0 and a 0 and a 2. Nothing changes. We do the same, perform the same method. 998 minus 1 gives us 997. And 1 into 2 is 2. So, it, we're going to add these two zeros and then two here. And that turns out to be our answer. Let's verify it. 999 nine, nine times 998. Nine, nine, Haha! How cool! So, let's just do a few more uh, problems so that uh, you understand this really well. Let's do 994. Minus 998. I'm sorry I said minus, it's, it's multiplication. So, let's find complements. But before we find complements, we identify the base. These numbers are closest to the number 1000. So our base is 1000. Now let's find the complements. All from 9, last from 10. So all from 9, so 9 from 9, 9 from 9, and we're going to use a different color, 4 from 10. We're going to do the same thing down here. 9 from 9, 9 from 9, and 8 from 10. So what do we get? We get a 0, and a 0, and 6. We get a 0, and a 0, and 2. Let's do the same thing here. Subtraction this one or this one. So 9, 9, 2. Now, 6 into 2 is 12. That's two digits. So it's going to take up one here, one here. And then we just take this 0 down here. And this is your answer is 992012. Now you could definitely use your calculator and verify. Let's move on to the next one. We're going to do 9, 8, 8 into 9, 9, 5. So our base is 1000 here. And using the all from 9 and last from 10, we get 0, 1, 2. And here we get 0, 0, 5. So 988 minus 5 or 995 minus 12. So let's do this. 9, 8, 3. 12 into 5 is 60, so same thing is 0, 6, 0. There's your answer. 
Now traditionally, you and I, we both know how long it would take. And the way you would go into multiplying this, and the amount of time it would take you would be significantly higher as compared to using the complement method. Uh, let's take one, or let's do a couple more. Um, Eight seventy-two into nine nine nine. Same thing. All both these numbers are closer to one thousand. Our base. So the complement would be all from nine and last from ten. So eight from nine is one. Seven from nine is two and 2 from 10 is 8. And here, it's very simple, it's going to be 1. Same thing, we're going to subtract this one or this one. So we get 8, 7, 1. And 128 into 1 is 1. 28. There's your answer. 871128. Let's do a last one. 995 into 986. Once again, we identify that these numbers are closer to the number 1. 1000, so 1000 becomes our base, and we find the complements, all from 9, so these two are from 9, and this is from 10. So, 0, 0, and 5, same thing, all from 9, and last from 10, so we get 0, 1, 4. And now, let's subtract these or these. 986 minus 5, we know that's 981. And this is 0, 7, 0. We multiply 5 into 14. And there's our answer. Um, I'll be posting practice worksheets soon for you to practice this particular method. Again, don't worry about the complex numbers for now. Uh, you're more than welcome to make up some of your own problems and just play around. Uh, see how much fun it is. Uh, you don't have to worry about recalling your timetables and trying to figure out what is what? It is a fairly straightforward method by using the complements. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in uh, the comments below and I will try to respond as quickly as I can. Enjoy the complement multiplications.